All right, one of my students cannot solve this question, so I decided to make a uh, quick video for her. All right, so this is like the line is tangent to the curve means what? When tangent to the curve basically means the line will just intersect the curve at like one point like this. So the line might just intersect the curve at one point. So we say tangent. So intersect one point in M eh, basically is um means B square minus 4AC equals to zero. But in order to apply B square minus 4AC equals zero for tangent to the curve. So the first step we need to do is we need to sub the first equation into the second equation here. So why we need to do that? Because we need to change them into uh, the general form of the quadratic, which is the AX square plus BX plus C equals to zero. Okay, this is my objective here. So you can see I will sub the Y into the Y here. So this is what I have. I have X square plus 2X. My Y right now will be 2X plus K and then plus 20 equals to zero. So I basically, I sub this equation into the second equation. Then I will solve this one to take out my a, b, and c to sub into b squared minus 4ac. All right, this one should be x squared. 2x multiplied 2x will be 4x squared. 2x multiplied k will be, uh, normally I would write 2kx rather than 2xk because yeah, I want to take my b as 2k. All right, then the next thing I will do is uh, plus 20 equals to zero. Okay, then over here is I can plus between x squared and 4x squared and then it becomes 5x squared plus 2kx plus 20 equals to 0. Then I know my a equals to 5. a will be the number beside the x squared. b will be 2k. b will be the number beside the x. And c will be 20. All right, then I will sub into b squared, which is um, b squared is 2k squared minus 4a c equals to zero so i will solve this one this is kind of like 4k square and then this is uh minus 20 of 20 times 20 is minus 400 equals to zero then k square will equals to divide 4 for everything and then 100 then k will equals to positive negative 10. so we have two answers for k which is either positive 10 or negative 10. So this is the reason why they ask about possible value. So basically it means you have two different value. K can be either 10 or negative 10. Okay, then what the part B asks for is for each of these value of K, find the coordinates of the point, uh, find the coordinate of the point contact the tangent with the curve. So the question is asking like, then what is this coordinate? What is this coordinate here? So normally what I can do is I will just straight away sub the k value back into this equation because we want to find an intersection point. Definitely you can sub your k back into uh, the original y equation. Then, then you do the simultaneous again, sub this equation into the second equation. But then we're just doing back the, the same thing again. So we, we can just straight away sub the 10 back into here. Then this is what we'll have. We have 5x squared, let's say uh, plus 10. So, where, okay, when x equals to, when k equals to 10, when k equals to 10, then I will have plus 20x plus 20 equals to 0. Then divide 5 for whole equation, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. Then I will just factorize it. So this one should be x plus 2 and x plus 2 equals 0, then I know my x equals to negative 2. All right, then because they ask for coordinate, we need x and y at the same time, then I need to find a y. I can sum the x back into the simple equation, y equals to 2x plus 10. When x is negative 2, it will be 2 times negative 2 is minus 4 plus 10. Then my y is 6. So I Got the first coordinate is negative six and uh negative two and six, and then I will have another coordinate when k equals to uh negative ten. Then I will do again when k equals to negative ten. Then I will have five x squared minus twenty x plus twenty equals zero. Why is minus twenty x? Because this one is two multiplied negative ten in it, so you will get negative twenty x. Then I will divide again, this is minus 4x. I will divide 5 for every single one. This is plus 4 equals to 0. Then I can factorize it quickly. So this one should be 
x minus 2, x minus 2 equals to 0, then my x is equal to 2. Then I will use back the same logics to find my y value. So this is 2x plus k, then in my case, negative 10. So y is 2, 2 minus 10, y is negative 6. So my another coordinate here should be 2 and negative 6. So therefore, over here you will have about two uh, two different coordinates which will touch at the uh, curve at one point here. Alright, this is how we do this kind of question. So I hope um, this short video can help you understand how to find a coordinate, especially the part B, how to find a coordinate. It will contact the curve at one point. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.